So what is uh, collection? Finally, the last topic. And with this, we can close the Java. So next week onwards, we can start the uh, Selenium. We can enter into the Selenium topics. Please uh, no, read this uh, Java. It's very, very important. Okay, let's get started. So without making any delay. So what is collection? Why do you need collection? So, and you have arrays already to store a group of elements. Then why do you, why do you need collections? So as we already discussed in the array, arrays are static data structure. And it is, so it is not going to allow you to store objects. So you have to depend on collections to store objects and also dynamic. You can, so, expand and collapse the objects or elements in the collection, but you cannot do that. So how many you declared initially in the array, that many only you can store. You cannot reduce, you cannot increase at runtime. But here you can increase at runtime also. You can decrease at runtime also. So this is the dynamic data structure. So basically it has a collections is a framework which provides an architecture to store a group of elements, a single unit of objects you can store, objects you can store inside the collections. And then once you have object in the collection, then you can manipulate those data how you want. So on that data on that collection, you can perform multiple operations like searching, sorting, inserting, manipulating, deleting, all these operations you can perform with these collections. So Java collection means a single unit of objects. So it's a collection means a single unit of objects is called a collection. And these collections are available in java.util package. So let's understand the hierarchy of a collection framework. This is one of the interview questions. So what is the hierarchy of a collection framework? So this is the hierarchy. The top interface is iterable. Then the child of this iterable interface is collection. And the collection is again subdivided into multiple sub interfaces, list, set, queue, dq. These are the interfaces. So this uh, so yellow color, which is a interface. And this orange color, uh, purple, this represent a class. See again, as I mentioned, I all explained about interface. What is mean by interface? Interface is a blueprint which contains only abstract methods and constant variables. Right? So that is the interface. Interface you cannot instantiate. You cannot create object. It means you cannot create object. So now here, see, iterable method has one, one method. It has iterable interface. That is iterator. So that method declared here, abstract method. Collection has so many methods. We will discuss uh, those collection methods. And uh, the list also has some methods, but list is implementing inside this array list, link list, vector classes. While implementing in these classes, the list, you have to implement a list methods here, collection methods, iterable methods, because this is extending. List is extending to collection. Collection is extending into iterable. This is the multi-level inheritance, right? 
one interface can extend to multiple in interfaces. That's what we have seen in the interface topic. Uh, so it supports multiple inheritance. Interface supports multiple inheritance. And the interface is implemented in this array list class, link list class, vector class. Now stack is a, you know, a subclass of vector. Now set is implemented by hash it, linked hash it, and tree set. So set has a sub-interface again, sorted set. Set also one sub-interface of collection. So all this set methods, collection methods, iterable methods are implemented in these classes. So the difference I'll explain you, what is the difference between list and set, we'll discuss. Now here Q is implemented in priority queue class. DQ is implemented in link list class, array DQ class. So this is the hierarchy means you have to explain this entire diagram and they tell these are the interfaces. These interfaces are implemented in so-and-so classes. Okay. Now, what are the methods of a collection interface? Collection is an interface. Again, see here. Collection is an interface. Okay. Collection is an interface. So, which has so many abstract methods. Those abstract methods are already implemented in these classes. Let's go and see one by one. Our same is implemented in the asset, so linked asset tree set also, priority queue class also, because this is the sub interface of collection. So whenever you are implementing queue, you must implement the collection and iterable methods also here. So that's what. So what are the methods in the collection interface? The first method is add method object element. So that means you can insert the element into this collection. So with the add method, you can insert. So an element into the collection. So this is how we need to call collection name dot or collection object reference dot add method and give the element, which element you want to insert into this collection. Second, add all method. You can insert a collection of elements. Here one element, right? But the add all means you can insert a, a group of or a collection of elements into another collection. That means joining two collections with the add all method. So collection name dot add all this entire group of elements into this. So that's a one collection elements you are joining here with the add all method. Next, a remove method. So it removes this element from the collection. So collection name dot remove object element. Remove all collection C. That means specified number of collection elements will be removed from this collection. Collection name dot remove all collection C. You can remove all these collection elements. Size method. So basically it returns total number of elements in the collection. So that's a public int size. So int count equal to collection name dot size. Next, clear method. So it removes all the elements from the collection. So it, it will clear all the elements. Contains method. So it is used to search this element into this collection. If the element is present, it returns true. If not present, it returns false. Next, iterator method. So it iterates the one by one in collection element and stores here. So the return type of this method is iterator interface. Iterator it equal to collection name dot iterator. So this is the method which iterates like a for loop for each loop, right? Same way it will iterate, right? Same way it will iterate the elements. So that's the iterator method. Okay. Next, we have a two array method. So two array, it converts the collection into array. So object, so array name equal to collection name dot two array, it will convert into array. 
So public bullion is empty, checks the collection is empty or not. And the equals method. So it compares the collection element with the a given element, both are equal or not. So there is a retain all, retain all method uh, checks only these elements will be retained. Remaining element will be cleared. Whatever the elements you are specifying here, those elements will retain from the collection and returns a collection to you and other elements will be removed. Whatever you are not specifying in this collection as an argument, those will be removed. And what is the difference between remove all and retain all? Here remove all, remove all is there, right? So remove all collection C, retain all collection C. So what is the difference between these two? Whatever you specified as a parameter, thus all elements will be removed from this collection. Retain all means whatever you specified here, only those elements will be retained, remaining elements will be deleted. That's a remove all or retain all difference. So these are the methods. Tomorrow you do that uh, you know, uh, video. Uh, so just explain me all these methods, how you understand. So, and also this explain this uh, hierarchy. So you, you need to explain the hierarchy and also these methods. Tomorrow we'll see those. Um, okay, so tomorrow class will proceed further. So there is a iterator interface. So quickly let's finish this iterator interface also. It doesn't take much time. So iterator interface is mainly used to Iterate the elements in forward direction only. Only one direction it will iterate from first element to last element. That's it. So you cannot reverse. Uh, no iteration cannot be done with this iterator interface. So this is going to provide uh, three methods. Has next method. Next method are very important for us. So public boolean has next just checks the next element is present or not. If present, it returns true. If not present, it returns false. So now again, you are going to use iterator interface because this method returns a iterator type. It equal to collection name dot iterate method. Return type method, how to call, you all know that methods concept. This method is a return type method. The, what is the return type? Iterator interface. The method returns a iterator interface. And it, so first value, it will go and store here and then comes here. If it dot has next, if this it has a value, then comes inside and next method, it will fetch the value in the IT variable and the cursor will move automatically to the next element here. That is what this next method will do. So next method returns an element object value and moves the cursor to pointer to next element. That is what the next method, what it will do. So these are the two methods very important in the iterator interface, okay? Yeah, so that's it. And tomorrow we'll cover this uh, list interface. Yeah. Any questions?